Welcome back to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. A beautiful Friday. We love Fridays because we get to catch up on all the latest updates in the world of sports. Mm -hmm. uh, joining us this morning is our sports anchor and correspondent, Wally Scott. Good morning. Good morning, Angela. Ah, the European League resumes. The give us English all Premier the League, yes. Give us all the gist. I don't know. I, apart from the fact that um, and Messi has taken away all of the saga, and um, Lionel Messi was able, conveniently able, to actually sell almost two hundred thousand jerseys in seven minutes. I have never seen that happen. Before. Say that again. He sold almost two hundred thousand jerseys in seven. Minutes. And you have haters like Osage? I don't believe No, I don't that. particularly like I don't believe Messi it. either. Wow. I don't like him, but, 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 but he was able to do that. And I think what Paris Saint-Germain was able to do was um, look at the business angle of it. When you buy a player like Messi, a player like Ronaldo, you are sure of making a large amount of the money you spent on him. Especially on how his jersey sales. Especially yeah. how you go about commercializing that. Yes, on his jersey sales, it's, it's normal. You know, and, and you find out that um, a, a player like Messi, who has gone to PSG now, you will see his Nike jersey, you will see his Nike jersey too, the fake one. <laughs> Nike. <laughs> you know, but, 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 but go to the EPL. <laughs> go to the EPL, you know, and um, um, the English Premier League, has conveniently been able to do something that most other leagues haven't done. They give you a blank check. They don't price. They don't price you anymore. You tell them you're 100 million. We'll pay 100 million. No problem. And we saw the difference in what they were doing when Manchester City and Chelsea got to the Champions League finals. Two English clubs in the Champions League finals. One English club in the Europa League finals, mind you, lost to Villarreal. So, which means basically that. Um, they are doing something right. Now they've gone to the market again today. And they've bought everybody that matters. Mm. The only person that matters right now in the leagues across the world yeah. who has not been bought by the English Premier League right now as we speak is Erling Haaland. Yeah. Everybody else has been bought. You know, as in Jadon Sancho, the, the miracle of three, four, two years ago is in Manchester United mm -hmm. right now. Varane. Veterinary, legendary, World Cup winner mm -hmm. is in Manchester United with Paul Pogba. Another um, um, World Cup winner with Anthony Martial. Another World Cup winner. You know, we're looking at Lu Romelu Lukaku, mm -hmm. who was scoring like he was going out of fashion when he was in Inter Milan. He's now in Chelsea. You know, and th these clubs are, are, are giving players blank checks, as in, just come. How much you want to collect? Collect them, you know, and... I think it's, it's making the difference. So the EPL will resume today. The only notable person Arsenal has bought is White. Um, we're, we're still contemplating why White was worth £50 million, pounds, really. Why couldn't they, why couldn't they make uh, big uh, purchases over the transfer window? Arsenal never make big purchases. They, they have... Um, their pocket is not deep. <laughs> they and they, they cut their they coats according to their size. size. They, they, they have their respect for themselves, you know. So, so really, um, they only have whites. And um, they play Brentford. Brentford is a team that's just coming from a relegation mm -hmm. to the Premier League. So they shouldn't have a problem. You know, but we've always known Arsenal to be a team that is very wasteful. Mm. But um, the good thing is, um, on my show later, um, Plus Sports, um, we're having um, Mikel Arteta, the coach, talking about the fact that um, he has um, a full squad. The captain is back. Pierre America Obama Yang mm -hmm. is back. Lacazette is in the team. White will play today. And so, why not? So, 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 so what, what would you say are your... Because um, every, every time the season is about to start, there's people who always say, okay, it looks like it's going to be Chelsea season. It's going to, it looks like it's going to be Liverpool season mm. um, or Manchester City season. You know, are there, are there two teams that you can point to, to as it stands, seeing the way the transfer window went, um, that would have a really, really good season. Manchester, I've always been um, a fan of um, people playing together as a team. So Man City would scare me again this season because um, everybody's still there except for just one or two additions, Jack Grealish and all that. So, yeah. so they will scare me. But mm. Manchester United too, will scare anyone too because... Um, they have everybody intact. And then um, they've got players trying to impress the coach. They've got Danny van der Beek, who actually went to... I remember vividly when Robin van Persie came to Manchester United. 
Um, so Alex Ferguson said he wasn't looking big enough. He had to go to the gym. So he went to the gym and the jersey fitted, fitted him more and then he was looking better and then he was stronger on the ball. And Donny van der Beek and other players have gone to the gym trying to impress Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. So that was scary too. Manchester um, Chelsea really, really scares me because I saw something on Facebook recently where they put 22 players of Chelsea. 22. One on, 11 on one side, 11 on one side, and they were all fantastic players. Mm. All 11. Yeah. You know, that scares you. You know, so I, I, I'm not going to place my bets on anyone right now. Mm -hmm. because everybody have Liverpool, honestly, I, it is not a joke. Honestly, Liverpool will not win the league in the next 15 years. Really. Wow. They won't. So, some people will be very. Some guys, some yeah. guys are going to the drawing board. They're actually working on their team. They're actually buying players, and Liverpool is just not doing that. Mm. They're, they're also depending on their players who are injured to come okay. back from injury and come and play and all that. When people are buying Jadon Sancho, buying Lukaku, buying they're not buying anybody. Mm. They're just waiting for their other players who are injured to come back. You can when them. The players that were injured were there. What did they do? So, come on. I don't see that happening. Interesting. So, let's talk about um, one of the most prolific strikers in European football, Romelu Lukaku, the transfer news to Chelsea. What about that? What do you think? Expectations? Honestly, I, I don't think the average Chelsea fan is going to like me right now. Because the truth is, I go to see Lukaku going to Chelsea and flop. Um, what Abramovich wants is another Didier Drogba. Mm. And of course, physically, Lukaku fits that. Um, on the ball, he fits that. Mm -hmm. But will he be able to score the way Drogba scores? I don't think so. I don't know why I feel like that. I don't think so. But what Ibrahimovic wants is he sees everything in Drogba. And don't forget that um, Lukaku is going back to Chelsea. Yeah. He used to be in Chelsea. You know, so um, I think um, Ibrahimovic, um, the owner of Chelsea, just has this funny feeling that... Um, I lost a Drogba. Let me get my Drogba back. He just might not be the Drogba. Okay. He, he has the physical presence. He has the strength on the ball. He has the speed. He's been in the Premiership all his life, his career. So, yes, he can. He's yeah, but used to it. What, what would you say was, you know, the key to his success at Inter Milan? I have no idea. But I know for one that um, Inter Milan, the Italian Serie A, the league, they are more defensive. So you can catch them on the counter. And because Lukaku is coming from the English Premier League, he can run. And he has the physique. He can hold on to the ball and run. And then it, a league that, has, that depends on, the, on defense, and somebody who comes with the counter all the time with you, he will always score. Mm. But you are going back to the English Premier League where they ordinarily know you, will, you can come on the counter. So yeah. they are waiting for you already. You know, you just might not make it happen there. Interesting. So, um... Finally, I'm going to ask you if you've heard the transfer rumors that PSG wants um, Ronaldo to replace Mbappe in 2022. Yes, I heard that. Um, I want to believe it's just gossip because um, I don't see PSG. Obviously, what PSG is trying to do now is now more of business than football. They are not looking technically on the field of play. But, at but you've always advocated aspect. for the business side, haven't you? Yes, but we all want to make money. We are all on uh, everything we do. We are all here this morning because we want to make money, really. But, you know, to bring a Ronaldo, to bring a Lionel Messi, to bring a Neymar, to have a Mauro Icardi and Gel Di Maria in I'm your happy. team and make so much money. But, Obviously, that's... I, I was in, But talking about the playing together, what do, you, what do you see ahead? If Ronaldo comes to Paris Saint-Germain, Lionel Messi is there, Neymar is there, Kylian Mbappe is there. Mm -hmm. They will win everything. They can play in jail. So you think there will be no, there will, there will be no, there will, there will be There's no thrill. There will be some conflict, um, don't you think? There will be conflict. That's the way. The, out of football, mm -hmm. in the dressing room, I can imagine a Ronaldo respecting a Messi, or a Messi respecting a Ronaldo, mm -hmm. or even a Neymar respecting any of them. Mm -hmm. So the problem will not be on the field of play. They will play good football in the dressing room. There will be an ego problem. It's all normal. Everybody's going to ego does, does it have to, Ronaldo, does, it have to, does, it have to does it have to be that way? It's, it's this almost is, unavoidable. This is a Ronaldo who looked at Ike Casillas, the goalkeeper of Real Madrid, 
and told him, I will never respect you. Unfortunately, the coach then was Portuguese, um, Jose Mourinho. Ronaldo was Portuguese. And Iker left Real Madrid. This is Eliona Messi when he was in Barcelona, who was telling the coach what players to buy. There will be ego problems. They are big players. All right, let's just talk COVID-19 as a uh, league starts. Uh, you know, in the last few uh, weeks or months, we've seen more fans, you know, gain um, entry into the stadium. You know, so so does that also give a uh, you know a breather with regards to the new season? You are the news guys. You and Aneta are the news guys, and you guys have read consistently on the news that um, there's a new Delta variant. Not even now one that um, in the US, in the UK, mm -hmm. that. Um, a large amount of people have been able to get their vaccines. Yeah. Some have even gotten their second vaccines already. So, and um, COVID-19 um, um, protocols have been taken at the stadiums across the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, most people who are going to be there will have, have to get there either with their certificates that they have taken their COVID-19 second vaccines or to prove that they don't have but, but regardless, we know yeah. that um, the um, COVID-19, the Olympic-related COVID-19 um, infections that we saw at the Olympics was, was about um, over 400. So you don't think that will have any impact on this new league starting? I don't think so. I think um, the protocols have been observed. Um, they have tested the waters during the Europa League finals, Champions League finals, during the Olympics. They even did a few tests during the Olympics um, in some events. Cycling, um, indoor cycling, they yeah. did some... Tests. So tests have been done like on a constant basis. Hopefully, we will not have any breakout of COVID-19 or the Delta variant again, hopefully. But um, if that happens, of course, the crowd leaves, leaves the event again. But for now, they will have a crowd. But like um, tomorrow, today's match, this evening's match, is 8 p.m. Nigerian time, Arsenal, Brentford. They're only going to have, I think, 18,000 fans there. So who are you pitching for? Space. Who are you pitching for? Arsenal against Brentford. Let's stick to Arsenal. Let's, <laughs> let's stick to Arsenal. If I was somebody who bets, I would stick to Arsenal. Stick to Arsenal. <laughs> anyway, it's, 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 it's interesting, you know, and I think a lot of people are excited about the new season starting, mm. um, including the fans. Um, the French Le Championnat started last week. Um, the Bundesliga, German Bundesliga, will start this weekend too. Um, almost all the What leagues. about the Nigerian League? <laughs> okay, okay. The Nigerian League just ended and we played the ITO Cup. Um, and, uh, records were broken. Bayosa United and Bayosa Queens, for the first time in the history of Nigeria, won the cup at the same time. Thank you. The female Thanks and the for male. putting the enemies to shame. The female and the male mm -hmm. won that Bayosa, and the governor actually has promised them lots of things. When the league will start, I cannot say it. But the the IT Cup has just finished. Okay. We appreciate all the sports updates, <laughs> Thank you, Wally Scott. Thank you very much. Thank you. you just heard all the details, all the juicy details regarding you know home football from the home front. You heard about the English Premier League, all the transfer news, transfer rumors. Um, stick with Wally Scott at nine thirty a.m. today when he gives you uh, more details about sports. Um, but on the breakfast, I am Anessa Felix saying thank you for watching. And I am Osaogi Ogbon. See you at nine o'clock.